me in different skin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and obviously, of course, different play styles. So now can Mr. E switch up his gameplay to defeat Utopian Raid, just like he defeated Jen. We're going to Smashville, which is a small, which is a pretty small stage. That platform constantly being there kind of makes it easy to get away with circle camping here. Immediate nair to nair. To oh my oh god! My, excuse me! Oh, uh, well, Ray just, you know, just shrugging it off. <laughs> that was not a homie stock. He actually SD by accident. Like, yeah, absolutely. But you know what? Mutually assured destruction right off the bat. Here in top eight, winner semifinal action in Mr. E and Utopian Ray. It's only the tone, been 30 seconds. The tone has been set though, Wolf. It is, uh, they are going to go at each other's throats, swords and staff in hand. This is this is gonna get ugly real fast. Oh yeah, for sure. And, but uh, that's what that's what I want to see, Stu. That's what I really want to see because now, ooh, oh, Mr. Oh. E actually just <laughs> almost spiking the hell out of Utopian Ray. And this is where he thrives. Constant stage control. Mr. E and Utopian Ray, both both players excel at keeping you on the ledge. And th th this, th th this is the hardest part about this matchup because both players have this, have very similar styles with the characters. When they, when they, when they both want it. They don't want to let you play the game. Yeah, it, it's so strange when you see uh, Utopian Ray trying to play a uh, Palutena like, uh, like Mr. E would play Lucina, it seems. But nonetheless... Uh, far from a ditto because, wow. yeah, I don't think Lucina has wings on her down smash, Wolf. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we have. Well, well, we may never see it. If she drinks Red Bull, she does. <laughs> uh, that is, uh, yeah, fair oh, enough. Oh, that was cute! I'm a union man myself. <laughs> Acknowledging the air, the air dodge to just, uh, you know, first hit air, first hit air. Good dash. And then falling up there. Indeed, but, uh... Yeah, Mr. E cutting off Utopian Ray almost as hard as I cut you off. My apologies, man. With no, that dash not attack. Taken, not taken. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, looking for that. But Utopian Ray is not going to uh, not going to be as uh, granting of luxuries as he uh, as he usually is, which is to say not at all. But nonetheless, oh, looking for that down. Or Utopian Ray playing a very patient game all of a sudden, adapting. He says, okay, you know what? I have him uh, used to the fast place gameplay fast-paced gameplay, but I have the lead. I can afford to sit back. I can let him try to take the match up to me and challenge him to approach, but I'm going to keep him at distance. Almost frustrating, Mr. E, and you can see it on his face. This is uh, this is not easy for uh, for any player involved, but Mr. E is, uh, I mean, he's just happy to be back in neutral right now. Earn oh, yeah. advantage. And, and <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of neutral, he immediately takes back stage control. And keep in mind, like I said, both players love to keep you on the ledge. And then Mr. E, understanding that Ray was ad ad adapting to his to his aggressive play style. So he's like, you know what, you're going to play the patient? That's fine. I understand that I'm swinging too much. I'm going to stop pressing buttons, and I'm actually going <laughs> to use the ones that are going to hit you. Yeah, and, uh, and you do see Mr. E going for these rather... Oh, oh. he jumped. I don't think he, I didn't think he saw he saw the... Uh, the flick because if he did because yeah. he still had his yeah he only well, well i mean watch. watch his face this is when he uh he realizes it he and still had another jump oh but he nared yeah and he was just trying to uh, apply that pressure and Woo. and yeah and he just like out. that just like that he realizes he knew, oh he, he was going for the uh he was going for the explosive flame and yeah tough when you get a fireball blown up straight in your face mr e you know what uh in smash it's a teaching moment so Oh! We're going to see. Excuse me. Okay. Oh my gosh! All and, right. And now, just, yeah. Utopian Ray definitely going to be one of the people that I want to see play Joker, just because of his play style and how smart he is as a player. All right, but he's going to smack the right now. You, you can't make me laugh. Oh! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Uh oh. Well, our uh, folks, let's introduce you to our Sen real quick. That was it. That was your introduction. Oh. Down throw. <laughs> oh <my God>. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Arsene is dead. I don't know what you're talking about. He got, he got about to get smacked. <laughs> Holy smokes! But Utopian Ray up one nil. Oh my! He never saw that coming. Mr. E with the kill in neutral and only sitting at 44%. And uh, Utopian Ray, he could very well grow into this character, no doubt about it. He can lean into all the strengths that this thing has. It's basically chic, but it can kill now. And uh, don't remind me, please. <laughs> I uh, look, it's I. It's I a, it's, it's a wound. It's a wound. It, it, it'll heal, man. It'll heal. But we have to confront this. But what's not going to heal is this Miss E stock. Mm. As beautiful play because he actually waited while Mr. E was descending. He was like, it's either you jump and I catch you or you don't jump and I still catch you. So that was actually a really, really good trap by Utopian Ray. 
And now with Arsene, damage is amplified. So how can he? He needs to take this opportunity to bring this back. And take it, he will certainly attempt to do. However, Mr. E, he does not want to be fighting uh, the Joker anyway, or Arsene in that state. So Utopian Ray, he's going to try to build a meter as much as he can. But in order to do that, he's got to get back to neutral, which he does. But again, Mr. E, so good at reading and reacting on the fly. I mean, he does his homework, obviously. There's, an, uh, there's a certain preparation that you have to do. Oh, no, but uh, obviously, you got you got to be able to improvise, man. You need your yes ands on deck. And uh, Mr. E, oh man, playing uh, playing whose line is it uh, anyway? In Smash Brothers here, gets the kill off of the forward air, and just like that. Utopian Ray, I mean, he better have a last surprise in store for Mr. E. Otherwise, <laughs> he is in deep trouble. Man, that and was in the game three. That that did end off. Of, that did end off of the trade. But uh, you know, it's. Mr. E happy happy to take that trade when he's when he's not when he doesn't have to worry about dying. 24% right now. Joker has some he, his kill setups still aren't really completely explored. You know, obviously this is a new character. Utopian Ray's feeling confident. He's like, you know what? Beautiful back air. Mm -hmm. Feeling confident. You know, I want to stock, I want a game on Palatina. Let me see how, how what this Joker can do. Exactly. And it uh it does the thing is about Joker is that he does have confirmed. Oh my god. He does have confirms without Arsene. That back air, as you saw, providing uh, you know, just enough to kill at certain percentages, but you really do kind of have to rack up the damage. It's a character that I feel like you, you can get some serious Marthritis with it if you can't uh, make Arsene count. But And look at how smart Mr. E was recovering. Understanding that if, Mr. if Utopian Raid is going to stand there, I'm just going to hold side B, and I mean, sorry, I'm going to hold uh, neutral B, and you are going to get your shield broken. Or you're just gonna get smacked. So uh, pick your poison, basically. Ooh, we're Rebels Guard, oh. unfortunate. Oh, not into death. Not just yet, man. Nope. He's surviving and gonna try to get back to neutral. And he rolls back onto the stage. Mr. E ready for that all the way. Such good option coverage. And that is obviously the nature of the character, uh, Lucina. You just. You, it is. Su you're not getting back to the stage for free. That's just. You need to accept that. Un Oh my, Wings of Rebellion coming out just in time, but no wings so to save you from that. And Mr. E taking game number two, but I will say, this is uh, perhaps this is Utopian Ray playing the long game and saying, yeah, let's, uh, let's have him try to adjust to my Joker, and then, and then that sets, me, Palutena, that sets yeah. me up for, uh, for more of my Palutena play. So now he has to adjust to three different characters. It's, it's uh, keeping him off balance, switching up your pitches. Why not? You, you counted Arsene as another character. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, you're right. Three. Yeah. Three. <laughs> but, and, and we see Mr. E actually air dodged on that last stop. He would have died. He would have died, but Mr. But Utopian Ray actually missed the back air punish. And that was, that, that was the saddest thing about that for Utopian Ray. He really could have had it. You know? Mm -hmm. But now we're going back to. Uh, Oh, we're actually going to Battlefield. And he's going to stay Joker. Really? He's confident enough. He's like, you know what? That match is actually that close. I can do this. I like this character. I want to see what he can do. Face yourself. Face your fears. But first, you got to face off against Mr. E for a spot in winner's final Utopian Ray. I, he has not won with this Joker at all in top 24. So this could be a, this could be a first for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. Mr. E is saying, you know what, uh, let's keep things the way that they are. You know, and look at his aggression when Joker's off stage. Understanding that, you know, the character just came out and Mr. E's already learning how to punish him. It's yeah. great. No, and Mr. E is showing no uh, no fear in the face of that uh, transformed state Joker. Which and, uh, we're and, seeing him uh, do pretty uh, pretty freaking well with it, all things yeah, considered. Yeah. And you can't you can't be scared of Arsene because when you, when you get scared of Arsene, fear is the worst thing in this game. Mm -hmm. When you if you play if you play with fear, you hesitate. You, you hesitate, and like I was saying, confidence is super important to a Smash player's mental state. Because if you don't execute your moves properly with confidence, you're not going to win. As we see, Mr. E doing so very well, keeping Utopian right on the left side of the screen, and now he just makes me lie because he's just switched. <laughs> you know, Wolf, with the frantic nature of this game, one could be forgiven for thinking that you know, obviously, you just need to. Uh, you need to improvise, and that's how you're going to win. And yes, obviously that factors in, but you really do need to do your homework. I mean, the, with uh, with positioning, not just having your own tech uh, ready to go and uh, tournament uh, 
tournament ready, but also just knowing what works against what characters, what works against what players, and knowing their uh, like preparation is so very key. And indeed, Mr. E, perhaps uh, not ready for what uh, Utopian Ray and his Joker had in store, but he's able to even things up at two. Yeah, we are we are two to two right now. As notice, Mr. E's actually sometimes he's he's every time that he up airs. He switches the timing. Sometimes he does it immediately. Sometimes he waits if their opponent, if his opponent's on a platform, and it's like, all right, well, you know, I'm waiting until you drop shield, then catch you with it. I feel like really Utopian, uh, Utopian Ray. We see him going for those, uh, for that Rebels guard, and one could uh, definitely see why, just considering how good wow. Arsene can be. But just like that, hi Arsene, bye Arsene, and hello, last stock situation for Utopian Ray. And this is scary, man. You picked Joker. You picked your poison. You knew that Palutena had a beautiful one. You knew the risk. There one. You knew the risk, man. But at 73%, well, he has our sense, so he can get a good get. If he gets a forward smash on the ledge, he's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, he's, he's going to do it. Oh, 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 my. Shield. Yeah, Mr. E. I mean, and that's the thing. With uh, no fear in his heart, the neutral getup and shield, uh, Utopian Ray will need to go back to the drawing board here. He literally is just neutral guy. He's like, is that gonna hit me? I'll be alright. <laughs> Utopian Ray. Actually, he might need the rest of the Phantom Thieves to steal these last two stocks because he is in a precarious position at 120. Looking for that back air, which we have seen can kill as Joker. However, I do question uh, how it would kill at 86%. Yeah, not gonna do it just yet, man. Right, yeah. Great getting the grab. Pummeling and Mr. E knows the up up throw definitely got enough in terms of kill power. But it still can kill at a late enough percent. So good, good option by Mr. E. Just trying to recover right now. And Utopian Ray is going to play the long game right now. Mr. E, uh, he's more than happy to oblige because that meter ticks down, man. Arsene ain't staying out there forever. And now, oh, there you uh, go. The forward air. Mr. E, sword in hand, stares down the Joker. And you know what? Mr. E, the real wild card in this tournament, he moves on to winner's final. Yeah, man. And that is... Well, that was an insane showing from E, capitalizing on every single time that Joker or you know uh, Utopia Ray was off stage, and it's like you're gonna you're either gonna try to egg on me, which is not gonna work. You have to hook. You have to you know he knew Joker's move, so it's like you can't hook right now. So you you're gonna take this you're gonna take this forward air. You're gonna take this back air. I'm gonna put myself in a position to win this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, really with all the options that uh that joker does have it seems like it's a character that if you have a if you have a character that's versatile enough facing against joker you can railroad it relatively easy just because of the nature of uh the recovery and the nature of the disadvantageous state with joker i mean unless you have arsene it's uh it's a bit of a tougher proposition let's be real and even when he did get him, uh, Mr. E was ready to snuff that out, and perhaps that was the key on that second stock. Uh, Utopian Ray oh, trying to build up that meter, but he never got his feet on the ground in order to take advantage of it. Uh, Mr. E moving on to winner's final and a well-deserved one, looking for uh, another tournament win. Now, he won. Uh, he actually wound up winning the Forge in uh, North Bergen.